So we have had finally that long-awaited phone conversation between President Xi and President Zelensky. This has been expected and in fact it was announced ahead of Xi's visit to Moscow. That was a critical meeting and that has been followed by this phone call and this conversation between Xi and Zelensky. Zelensky has responded quite warmly. He has said that the appointment of a Ukrainian ambassador to China and this is in the context of this phone conversation is going to give a strong impetus to bilateral relations. Now Zelensky has confined his remarks to bilateral relations. The question of course is how far this can influence an end to the war in Ukraine. There has been a good deal of dispute over this. Washington has warned that China cannot be an effective peacemaker. China had put out a 12-point plan announcing various principles for peace that included an affirmation in UN principles and respect for sovereignty of nations. This clearly implied a degree of opposition to the invasion, but China has not quite spelled out in so many words that Russia should end this invasion and Putin should pull back his troops. But that clearly uh, is what is awaited in Ukraine. Whether China will go that far is not clear. But whatever one's views and whatever realistically may be possible, there is little doubt that if there is any world leader who could prevail upon Putin to call off the invasion, it is she who has a better chance than anybody else. This is still a long way from the end of the war and no doubt skeptics will call into question the motive behind Xi's talks with Zelensky. These come at a time when Ukraine is preparing a counteroffensive against Russia and there will be questions asked whether Xi is now trying to prevail upon Putin to call off any such counteroffensive and that of course would have Putin worried. There are signs that Putin is worried. He has visited Crimea, he's visited Mariupol, he's visited the western bank of the river in Kherson. This clearly indicates an anticipation of an offensive and going by the record so far, Ukraine has been very successful in its counter-offensives from Kiev to begin with, then Kharkiv and then Kherson. So there are questions that will be raised, but the optimists will most certainly find that there is some hope here that she could prevail upon both Zelensky and upon Putin towards a beginning at the least of an end to this conflict.